Guys, good morning to everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, plug your uh, PS4 to your monitor that has only a BGA. So keep watching till the end. I'm going to explain everything because some uh, people, uh, it's not gonna work that way. You just need something like a splitter like that. I'm gonna teach you everything in this video. So keep watching till the end and let's play my lame intro. <laughs> So here we go. So this is the things that we need that we're going to use to power up this uh, monitor from a computer. Here, this is the IBM monitor, a very old one. It only has a, it only has a BGA. Here, as you can see, a BGA cord only, and this is the power supply. Okay, so this is a very old monitor. <laughs> okay, and then what you need is a simple. Uh, USB plugging system like that like this like USB hub 2.0 multi card reader this one that I'm going to use Let's close the door first okay and the second one will be yes the here to power to power up our monitor this one is goes to the monitor and the next one is yes this one comes with a PS4 this one will fire up the PS4, power up PS4 and BGA cord. This one, both BGAs. Here you can see. And the HDMI cable came up with the PS4. This one here. And this one, you will need this one. It's like HDMI, high definition multimedia interface. It has uh, one output and three output and a power supply. DC 5 volts as you can see it's 5 volts you really need this one I'm going to explain why you need this okay so and also you need this uh, charger came up with your Nokia phones the old one you will need this one also to power up the HDMI lector power K like that okay so here we go so this is how we're going to set up I'm going to set up the first one that I tried that didn't work so maybe some uh, some uh, People there tried it and it didn't work because they just uh, and you also need this one this one this is the BGA to HDMI converter so you're gonna plug uh, the BGA here so I'm what I'm gonna do first is the first time that I tried and I failed and does work I'm gonna show you so here you're gonna plug the BGA to the HDMI converter plug it like that okay Then uh, plug this behind the VGA monitor right here. Okay. So that's it. And then uh, we're going also to plug the power supply this one here this is a very old monitor my sister used it before but now it's just stuck it somewhere it's in Doha Qatar <laughs> she's not gonna get mad on me anymore and we're gonna plug this to the PS4 by the way it can work in only PS4 PS4 uh, Pro 4K something like that PS4 slim or not I'm using slim this one here and then plug the HDMI cable here oh no 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 okay so we're not gonna use this one for now this will be later for later okay so what I'm gonna do now is plug this uh, uh, VJ converter to the PS4, the HDMI. Okay, so we're gonna plug it here. Okay. Now we need this to power it up. Plug and play. So now we need my controller. Here you go. So I'm gonna press the PS button. 
turn on the monitor you see the monitor is working as you can see and just like that it's just gonna keep blinking the whole time you see it's blinking and sometimes it doesn't work and some other computer it's not gonna work because of that settings only that we only plug it into the bga converter and into the ps4 so it's not gonna work properly you're gonna have a very headache because of that see no no connection check now check signal cable so what i'm gonna do next is hold on we have to properly turn off the ps4 because i don't want to broke it <laughs> so what i'm gonna do now is ps4 remote play Turn it up here. Finally. <laughs> so I turn up my PS4. You see the light? Blinking white. Blinking white. Blinking white. And shut it down, my friend died okay so our the next text that i'm going to do is using this hdmi selector 4k so i bought this for around 2000 yen in japan but i don't know the price i'm just gonna find it out on amazon later and then put it on the link on the description okay so this is what i use so what you're gonna do is unplug the bj cord here that you plug on your computer and then uh, we're going to flag it here in uh, in the input okay oh no 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 so this comes here in the VGA so here we're going to need our uh, uh, B HDMI cable that came with the PS4 so we're gonna plug this here and plug it here in the PS4 and uh, we're going to plug this into the input here in number three doesn't matter where I told you before so you put it here in the input and then plug the uh, VJ cable from the monitor to the output here so you put it here and just like that here okay let me explain so this HDMI cable from the monitor goes to the output here and then the HDMI cable from the PS4 goes here in the input okay so you put it just like that and then we're gonna plug this uh, Nokia charger here in the PS in the uh, HDMI switch converter plug it like that and then we're gonna plug this to the PS4 once you plug that go grab your controller I see there's a light it's working the monitors up I see. see it's not blinking anymore doesn't make any uh, movement and there working properly season 6 jump force cycle break need for speed you can play it to your monitor now to your old model monitor computer like that so this is IBM and it's think vision like that it dips to uh, not good quality it's not on 720p then uh, let's try we go to the settings and then you open your sound and screen and then video output settings 
this so resolution so here 1080p and 1080i is unsupported so as you can see no so i recommend just the automatic and wait per second and done that's all you can do you can just go to the 720p or to the automatic one so i hope you help you i help you out guys please like and subscribe to this video and last last time that i'm going to explain you okay so hdmi from the ps4 goes to the input bj cord that hdmi here con converter goes to the output okay don't forget about that but if you're afraid to use that you can just plug this to your charger and your phones noisy people and that's it hope you like it guys thank you so much and i'm out ah!